Hello and welcome back to Two for One. For those of you who don't know, Two for One is a segment in which we make two different versions of the same thing. McDonald's hash browns are larger, flatter versions of tater tots. Changed my mind. Now for this recipe, take two pounds of frosted potatoes and peel them. Then stick our potatoes in the microwave and cook them on high for five minutes. Now, once the potatoes cool down a bit, using a cheese grater, specifically the side with the larger holes, shred our potatoes. Shred. Get it? Shredding? Like a dart? Eh? If you want to make sure that the potatoes are at the right consistency, let's grab a little piece, squeeze into it a little ball, and if no potato shreds jut out like antennas, it's good. Let's season it with about a teaspoon and a half of salt. Half a teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper. And just a quick dash of cayenne. Mix everything together by hand. Now then, to form the tater tops, grab yourself a size 60 ice cream scoop. Link in the description if you want one. And grab a scoop of our potato mixture and just scoop it onto our plate. Make sure it's nice and packed in really good. Now for the hash browns. Grab yourself a two inch dough cutter. And here's the twist. We're actually gonna use this as a mold, not to cut anything. So plop it down on a plate, drop in enough of our potato mixture to come up about two thirds up the sides of the dough cutter. And voila. Oh, and uh, just kind of tap down the uh, pointy edges. As for our tater tots, just kind of grasp them in your palm a bit just to smooth them out. Now it's time to fry them. I have here a straight sided saute pan filled halfway up with oil and a cooling rack lined baking sheet with paper towel. Turn on the heat and set the temperature for 375. Is sexualizing teenage schoolgirls A-OK -okay in your culture? The number you're looking for is 190 degrees. Okay, the oil has come up to temperature. You don't want to drop these into our hot oil. You'll end up looking like Deadpool without his mask. Okay, so just take a little strainer like this, place our tater tots on it, and gently dunk them in. Cook until they're golden brown and delicious. Okay, once they look like this, move them to our cooling rack. Now for our hash browns, using your thinnest spatula, just scrape them off the plate. Slide them gently into our fryer. Oh, again, cook until golden brown and delicious. These hash browns are amazing, unlike McDonald's. However, I do severely underpay my employees just like McDonald's. So if this video goes viral, maybe I'll be able to pay my employees a living wage. This has been Chase Cooking Kitchen, making cooking fun and meaning at this time. <laughs>